Bonjour, bonsoir, buenos dias, buenas noches. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today we're going to be talking about married to medicine. Um, definitely thumbs up if you like these types of videos, married to medicine specifically. Because um, I just want to know if I should keep it coming. This is one of the shows that I really do like. But um, I'm also monitoring, you know, the views for this one as well as your engagement to see if it's worth me continuing to do this show because I'm pretty sure it might be a lot of episodes. So we'll see. If it's not something that y'all really watch like that, then I'll just continue to do Basketball Wives for now as well as Catfish and what you call it. But we'll see. We'll see. Because I still, like I said, I still like this show so far. And, you know, my my fate, my twos right now that give me excitement on this show is Phaedra and Heavenly, okay? Because they will read you your rights like no tomorrow. I can just imagine if the two of them get into it. Ooh, that would be a shade fest. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for liking these videos. It definitely means the world to me. And it also lets me know that you like these types of videos or this particular show in general. So thank you so much for that. I truly appreciate it, as well as sharing these videos because I do see that in my analytics when I check out and see what you guys are doing and your engagement and things like that. Uh, so Phaedra, she seems to be getting younger and younger with each episode, y'all. I mean, she is looking great. I don't know if she got something done, tucked, pinched, heightened, lifted, or what, but I mean, she's looking good. She got on these bright colors. She's just giving, like, fresh and happy and i'm loving it for her um but jackie she comes over with heavenly jackie was not feeling the animal i mean she was not trying to come in while the dog was in the way and she also was being like okay do you have some socks because you know she went ahead to take off her shoes but it's like you're taking off my shoes you know, some people, they'll have some little slippers at the door for you to walk around and, you know, the guest slippers or, you know, hand us some fresh socks or something, you know, especially you got money like that. I mean, you should be prepared, you know, but, you know, I, I see where Jackie's coming from because I don't walk around with no shoes on. Like, I, I hate the way the cold floor feels under my feet. Like, it just, ugh. It's something about it that I just cannot do. I even go to yoga class and they'd be like, oh, take off your socks, guys. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not doing that. First of all, these floors is dirty. <laughs> we're not out in the woods or nothing. And even if we was out in the woods, I would be mortified. I would definitely want to take it off. I'm just not that person. Anyway, so with that, and then the whole animal situation, I'm not. Mm -mm, I got allergies to animals and I'm just, mm -mm, I don't know if your dog going to like me. He going to bite me. What's going to happen? So I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So I get, I get Jackie. Uh, you know, me and Jackie's here with that one. Heavenly was just, you know, she was just good. You know, she liked, she said she liked the house, even though it had a lot going on. She's like, you got Versace here, Van Gogh here. Like, it's just a little bit of everything. She's like, she must have a lot of ideas in her head, you know? <laughs> she got gold and colors and regal and it's a little bit of everything going on. But, I mean, it is what it is because, you know, as long as it's expensive, she probably good. But, yeah, so that was that. Um, Jackie told Phaedra that Quad, you know, because they talked about the whole bachelorette situation, and she told her that Quad doesn't really, like, like, reach out, call her, or anything, unless it's convenient for her, then she might pop up. You know, like, in the bachelorette, she came because it was a good look, it was good for drama, and, you know, things like that. Plus, you know, she want to show, like, <laughs> look, I am that B. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't replaced me, baby. You know, so um, it's more so the reasons that motivated her. Like, she needs the motivation to be able to come around or to do something. Or she said, even when she, and Paige was like, well, do you reach out to her? She's like, no, not really. Because then and she gave her reasons. She's like, even when I try to call, like, She'll call me back like six months later. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, and nobody wants to put that much effort into somebody who's not reciprocating. It's like after you do it maybe once or twice, it's like, all right, this is now a job. And this is not fun. This is me trying to almost force you to be my friend. Like, why am I being more of a friend to you than you are to me? And she said, like, she did talk to her before and she was like, she needed time and this and that. So she's good on that for now. 
And you know, when Miss Jackie says something like that, you know, <laughs> you know, you don't got on us getting a little something, something. Now, Heavenly, she is so concerned about Letitia getting married and she just feels like she isn't ready. And I mean, I'm like, if she feels she ready, then she ready. Like if she gets divorced, that's on her. It's nobody's concern, nobody's business. You know, I feel like she's too concerned about it. So Letitia told Dr. G about Quad coming to her bachelorette party. And he wasn't too happy about that, because, especially finding out that it was his friend, excuse me, Phaedra, who was the one who actually invited her. So it's like, why would she do that? So he definitely called up Phaedra and asked her why she would do that. And she gave her reasons, you know, she felt like they needed to know each other. And he's like, no, they don't need to know. They don't need none of that. There's no reason for that, you know. And she was like, I don't need that happening. She's like, well, you don't have to worry about it happening again because there was only one bachelorette party. So, you know, we don't got that out the way. There's not going to be a number two. So, hey. um, Because ironically, well, I wouldn't say ironically, but it was nice, I guess, to see Contessa, like, you know, stick her little head in on the show real quick, do a little pop-up, pop-by. You know, they from what I heard, they wanted her to be like a friend on the show, not actually part of the show i guess her storyline kind of gotten a little dry especially because it's like yeah she didn't have much going on other than her marriage kind of being messed up and i guess now they're working on it so it's like eh, it's not all of that she doesn't have too much going on so yeah um so yeah she didn't want to do that so she didn't return um, it looks like they did want her to come to the bachelorette party, but she didn't want to come. Maybe because she don't even know the girl like that. Who knows? But, I mean, she was at the wedding, so, I mean, but it could have been for Dr. G, you know, because they do know him. The All the guys were close and things like that. I think her husband was on the show when Dr. G was on it. I can't really remember too well. Um, but, yeah, so that was the situation with that. But it was nice to see her, you know, she gave the girls greetings and things like that. Um, I can't lie, Dr. G, you know, Dr. Gregory was looking very dapper. You know, he was looking fly and fancy. I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Silver Fox, as they call it. I'll see you with the black and white pepper over there. <laughs> Better go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, he was looking nice. You know, he was waiting for his wife, and she came down the aisle, and they did the darn thing. I mean, they is married now. Um, the crazy thing about it was when dr heavenly and her husband came you know they came the same time as toya and and you know toya's husband and it was crazy because they weren't on the list and comes to find out letitia took her off the list because to kind of teach her a lesson i guess because her bridesmaid maid of honor had told her the things that heavenly had said when she wasn't in the room so that's why you got to be careful who you're talking around. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she's saying it on camera, but she didn't expect it to come back and bite her in the booty like that. I mean, she almost got sent back home, but Heavenly going to always find a way. So she must have spoke to somebody somewhere, some producer or something, and made sure she got herself up in there. She like, I ain't wasting this outfit. <laughs> like, I done spent gas money. I done had an outfit. My husband done took off the day. I took off the day, you know? <laughs> There's a lot of elements that goes into this. My feet is hurting. I got my hair done, my makeup done. Nah, y'all let me in this wedding. <laughs> I don't care. I, I don't blame her neither because I would not have left either. Somebody gonna get me up in here. So she got herself up in there. And the she was like, and she was a little vexed, like, who let this woman inside of my freaking, my freaking wedding? But, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day, so it happened. But, yeah, so she eventually got in there. But that was pretty much the episode. It was a pretty quick one, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this episode down below. I don't know. We're going to see how this ends up with Letitia and Dr. G. Did they get a prenup? I don't remember seeing that. I might have missed that part. I feel like I saw it in the commercial, but I don't remember seeing it on the show. I think he had brought it to her. But, yeah, we'll see how this go with the two of them because I don't know. I feel like now he got her locked in. 
now the fun gonna start like now this one gonna really things gonna start taking a turn when he gonna start being daddy g you know <laughs> instead of dr g it's like it's all getting well when they spending that money until they try to control you with that money and he she's already seen similarities of her and quad you know about the way he treated quad and the crazy thing is, she do be throwing shade because there was one point where she was like, who, yeah, I'm the best wife you ever had. Like, why you have to say all that when you know she's going to see it? It's like you're trying to start drama. You're trying to start problems. And I bet you be the type that once she says something, you'll be like, wait, no, like, I didn't mean it like that or whatever, you know? But that's that, y'all. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode down below. I'll see you on the next one. Laters.